Hello everyone, welcome back to another my tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a simple wooden fence in Maya and Keyshot's 6.3 Pro. Okay, so I'm going to go to the internet and find a wooden fence for us to use. So um, I just typed in fence in the Google Images and I found this one, which is a pretty good reference image. And so I think we should use this. So I'm going to right click on that and do save image. I'm also going to put the link to this in the description below. Um, Alright, so I downloaded that wood fence, and I'm going to go into Maya 2018 here, and I'm going to go into my front view by pressing the space bar to change those views. Image plane, import image, documents, wherever you saved it. Um, I called this wood fence. Okay, now I need to create a cube, and we can begin start. Do we can begin to start working on this? So. We're gonna um, we're gonna make this first one right here, and then make the rest of those there, and then just duplicate it to that side. That way, we don't have to just do the same thing all over again or do complicated instance things. Okay, so with this selected, I'm just gonna scale that in a little bit, um, to about like that, and I'm gonna hold down right click and select those vertexes and just bring those up to before it starts curving in. Okay, so now let's select those bottom ones, just drag select them and drag them down to about here. Or maybe it doesn't have to be exact. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you a little trick to select this top face really quickly without having to go into this and you know selecting that face. And actually while we're here why don't we make this because it'll help when we do that top part. Why don't we make this a little bit more fancy? Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, so, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down right click, select face, and then just gonna drag select all that, but then hold down shift and drag select that. And as you can see, we now have just that top face selected. So as you can see, if I do this really fast, bam, easily select that top face, which is way quicker than you know doing all that, and you can stay in the same view. Okay, so let's extrude this up by doing Control E, and um, I'm just going to use the. You want to when you're scaling things in, especially in a view that's not um, the perspective view, and the perspective view is this one right here, as you can see by what it says down at the bottoms. Like for example, this is the side, this is the top, and this is the front view. Um, um, you want to scale using uh, this one in the middle this little cube. You don't want to use one of these because for example, let's go into here. Let's say I want to scale this in more, right? I want to use that. Instead, let's say um let's say I want this to be more in. I would I would let's say use this, but then it would not scale everything proportionally as you can see how it's doing that right there. So, you always want to use um the thing in the middle. Okay. So, um Let's continue extruding up. I just did Control E again. Press R to use the hotkey. And just keep going. Alright. Um, also, by the way, let's say you're off to there and you kind of want to be closer to there. You can just press F and you'll center right on it, kind of like what I was doing earlier. All right, just try and get this shape without it being too high poly. Actually, I kind of want it to be a little bit more down. You don't want things to be too high poly, especially if you would use this fence in like a video game, because then it would um, be too high poly, and when you have a lot of fences, like you would probably do with a fence, it would just not be good because the computer would have to render a lot more than it needs to be for just the simplest shape. Okay, so let's make sure we're in object mode, right clicking object mode and just clicking somewhere in the great abyss. And what we could even do, we could probably, let's see, yeah, we can just move that out of there. Um, that way we can just see our fence right here. So that looks like a pretty good shape. If we smooth that, it looks pretty bad, but we're not there yet. All right, I like the way that looks. Um, and what we can do, let's say you don't want to see that fence right there, you can go to show and then just unclick 
image planes and then it'll still show in like the views that you actually need them in but not in the f perspective view okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this pivot point down there so I pressed D to open this up I'm gonna hold down V to snap to vertices and just drag that all the way down to there and you'll see why this is going to be helpful in a second so let's see let's just duplicate this over to there and um, let's say we want this one to be exactly the same distance of a duplication it was from there instead of just doing control D to duplicate that we can do shift D and bam it's exactly the same distance across as you can see alright so now I'm gonna select this one I'm just gonna duplicate this but now we have um, actually no I'm gonna yeah I'll just bring it across um, now we need to make this a bit taller as you can see what we can do is now that we have that there we can just press R and then we can just use this and just scale it up just like that and as you can see it's not scaling anything on the bottom we can just scale as we please like that and you see that was a bit taller okay so let's just continue doing that for the rest of these I'm just gonna duplicate that there make that a bit taller I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all of those I just use shift E by the way same thing we were doing before um, to do that to make them all exact and yeah, it's a bit too tall just dragging them down how they look in my blueprints. You don't have to follow the blueprint exactly, but I mean, the closer you do it, the closer it'll look to the real one. Okay, so now we have all these guys, and it looks pretty cool. Um, what I'm going to do now is we're going to create this big one right here. So I don't think we need to make another object. I'm pretty sure we can just use this one. So let's just duplicate this and then drag it over. And I kind of want the pivot to be in the middle now. So I'm going to go to Modify Center Pivot. All right, I don't think I did it modify center pivot and now that's back to normal okay so I'm gonna use R I'm gonna use that same thing I showed you before and just kinda drag it out to wherever you see fit I select those vertexes and I'm just gonna drag those down and I'm gonna drag I'm gonna drag this up but then for this top I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit F so I can just kind of get in closer to those and I'm just going to keep doing that okay let's see I feel like this should be a little thicker just press R and just scale those like that let's see I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Let's see that gap between there is a little too tight. Alright, so now we can do something cool. We can select all of these. Um, I'm not going to select... Am I going to select that middle one? No. Okay. Don't select the, the first one you created. You see how this is exactly in the middle um, of the two main grid lines, this one and this one. So we're just going to want to select all of those and then we can do something kind of cool as well with this. We can do another pivot actually. So I'm going to, with all the selected, I'm going to do D and then I'm going to do, I'm going to hold down X actually this time. And I'm going to snap that. Um, I want to snap that to the middle of this. So as you can see, the pivot is now there. And I'm going to press Q to stop doing that. Make sure I have all those selected in object mode and do control D. And now if I press R to scale, as you can see, if I were to begin scaling it like that, it is actually, whoops, not doing it right. I forgot to do something. I forgot to make all of those a group. So you can either click on that or go to mesh combine. Then we need to go back and hold down X and snap that back to there. Sorry about that. But um, now if I were to duplicate this, and as you can see, if I were to just put simply negative 1, uh, press enter, they're exactly how they should be. Okay, and now what else I'm going to do is I'm going to mesh separate. That way we can still individually select all of those. Okay, so this is our fence so far, and it's actually looking pretty good. Um, 
So we should probably make this back thing now. So I'm going to create another cube. And I'm just going to drag that to there. I'm going to select the vertexes. And I'm just going to drag them down to their respective places on my blueprints. So I feel like they're kind of maybe in the middle-ish of these where the nails would go. I'm just going to select that in object mode and do control D to duplicate this down to there. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm going to select both of these, hold down shift, make sure only these two are selected. Um, and I'm going to just hit R and scale those in. I'm going to bring that back so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And it should be a little thin. Let's see how that looks. Alright, not bad. Oops, a little thinner though. Yeah. Let's see how this will look. Yeah, I like the way that looks, totally. Okay, so now we're just going to texture this. And by the way, let's say you want to have like, you know, more of these when you're making a real fence, you know, you can just simply make more. So, yeah, and that only ended up being 776 polygons. You can probably make this way smaller if you want. I'm just going to leave it at that because I like that. So I need to save this. So I'm going to, I'm actually just going to select all of those, go to File, Export Selection, and I'm going to go to my Maya folder and I'm going to find my little objects folder here it is I'm just going to call this um, wooden fence I'm just going to call this wooden fence and I'm going to just do export selection but you want to make sure this is an FBX if you export this as an OBJ when we put this into Keyshot it will um, it will do automatically a level 1 sub a level to subdivision which you don't want because it'll automatically smooth everything which will make things look weird so just click export selection and yeah so we got that and this is by the way what it would look like in object mode it would look like that it would look like shit okay so now I need to open up key shot so I'm just gonna click on this should open for me make sure I'm recording eh. alright yeah yeah okay so you can do this in Mental Ray if you want, or Arnold or Maya Software, the other rendering software. Why is this being laggy? Um, if you want, instead of Keyshot, if you don't have it, but I just have Keyshot, so I'm just going to use this. Okay. So, sorry, I'm going to click on Import Model, and I'm going to go to um, uh, where I saved it. Sorry. Okay. So it was called Wooden Fence, I think. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so I'm just going to double click on that. And click Import. And it will import my fence into Keyshot, which we can use to texture it. So you can see, that's my fence. Um, in fact, I want it to be actually a bit taller. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to Position Move Tool. Because we're having some issues with the shadows, as you can see. There we go. Alright, that looks good. So now we're going to apply a texture to this. Let's just find a simple wood texture. Um, you can see it doesn't matter, you know, just find a random one. Uh, I don't really like the way that looks at all, actually. Let's see. For example, that one that looks pretty good. I'm just, for simplicity, I'm just going to use a basic one. Um, I might use this one, actually. actually. Let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, I really like that. Let's see what the other heavy grain or fine grain looks like. Just that, and then there's that. I think I like this one the most, though. Yeah. So I'm gonna click on that to just apply that. I'm gonna zoom in, and I think um, we could maybe edit this texture a little bit. So let's just go to here. Let's see if we can put the roughness up a little bit, cause I think it's a bit too smooth. Um, let's go to textures. Uh, we can probably add a bump map because wood isn't exactly that smooth. So I'm just click on bump right here, and I'm just gonna find one maybe like something like uh, friction dot jpeg. These ones you should have, by the way. Um, okay, so that looks like that. Go back into here, and that scale needs to be a bit lower. 
Okay, that looks a lot better though. It has a more of a texture. I'm also gonna want to bring the scale down a little bit more, maybe. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. To make this a bit faster, I might go to lighting and performance mode, maybe. But that looks that looks really good. You can see all the scratches and stuff. Um, might make the scale a bit lower. So you just gotta tweak the texture so however you like it really. But um I really like that actually. It's really got a nice wood texture to it. So um let's get some HDRs in here. So I'm just gonna go to environments and maybe an out an outdoor one would look pretty good here. So let's just see if we can find one, maybe like something like this. Mm. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Just look at it. Hmm. I don't really like that HDR actually. Also, I feel like that's too high of a scale. Just put that down a little bit. And the bump texture is way too high as well. Okay. That's good. So now let's see, maybe we can even try and make this look a little realistic. Maybe. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this, go to scene, wooden fence, position, move tool. Maybe just do some really, something really quick here. I don't know. If you spend time actually like doing things, then you'll get something that looks realistic. But this is just for simplicity's sake. So, I don't know. Maybe you're just driving by and you see that fence right there and you're like, oh man, that looks pretty cool. But, um, alright, so I'm going to render this now. Um, I'm going to go to render, render, and I'm going to go to options. Um, I want maximum samples. Drag that all the way up to 256. The output, I want this to be, um, I don't know, just use a resolution. Um, my aspect ratio is a bit off right now, so that's why it's a little weird. Uh, that's pretty good though, and I'm just gonna do. Maybe I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit more. Maybe not. Kind of like, kind of like that, and then just, then just hit render. Okay. Now obviously this doesn't look as realistic as it could, because we don't have like you know it's not it doesn't look like it's in the ground, but for now it looks pretty good. So we're about halfway done. I'm just gonna use something again. Alright, so our render is done, and I can go look at it for example, um, whoops, if I go to my files, documents, Keyshot 6, renderings, and you can see, um, here's my fence, looks really cool, and it will actually show up, there we go, I like that, it doesn't look, you know, super realistic but it looks it, like if you just saw that like really quickly I mean it's kind of weird because it's just a random fence there but it looks pretty good so thanks for watching and please subscribe it will really help me a lot and um yeah so bye bye